question one write the fractions are all these fractions equivalent so we are given with four questions in the a part first one is halfly shaded therefore one over two similarly we have four parts so two parts are shaded out of four here we have three parts out of six and at last we have four over eight parts but as you can see all of these are reducible this is to one over two and similarly as you can see circle is same and almost every not almost but perfectly equal area is shaded therefore all have half therefore we conclude all these fractions are equal b part 4 over 12 here we have 3 over 9 as you can see similarly 2 over 6 here we have 1 over 3 here 1 to 3 and it goes to 6 over 15. Clearly these fractions are not equal. As you can see, all these fractions don't make equal proportions. Therefore, all these fractions are not equal. So this was your answer. Second question is, write the fractions and pair up the equivalent fractions from each row. So we have half, here we have 4 over 6, and here we have 3 over 9. So it is becoming quite easy that you have to check the shaded portions and divide it by, as we see here, 2 over 8, total number of columns, 3 over 4. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 over 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18. I'm simply multiplying it. Here we have 4 over, you can say 8. Similarly, you can do these for all the given things. Here we have 12 over 4 is a 16. Simply multiplying. Here we have, you can count it to 8 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 to the 12. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to the 16. So, we are making it to the simplest form. So you can see all of these are done and now only we have to match it. So I'm just reducing it as 2 over 3 and 1 over 4. So A part goes to second. As you can see, half to half. Similarly, we have concluded all of them. As you can see, E goes to third. That is last one. So this was your answer. Now comes the third part. Replace this blank in each of the following by correct numbers. Although I've made a smaller blanks, so let's start it. We have eight. So how much are two, four is eight. That means we get it by divising, division it. So we have similarly we are going to multiply in the denominator part to give you seven four is a twenty eight. So, we are making equal ratios, right? 8 over 28. 5, how much are is 10? 2 are. Similarly, we have to multiply in the denominator part to give you 16. 8 to 16. We have to extend these boxes because these were typically small. 5, 4 is 20. And similarly, 3, 4 is 12. You have to just Count the tables. This one is 15. How much is 45? 15 threes of 45, right? So how much threes are would give you 60? Divided by 3. As multiplication and division are counterparts of each other. Therefore, you get 20. 20 is the answer. So 15 over 20. What about here? 4. How much are is 24? 6 are. So how much 6 are is 18 divided by 6. So you get 3. That is your answer. 
Now fourth part, find the equivalent fraction of 3 over 5. And we are given certain conditions. So this is how you have to frame all the questions. Whichever part is given, write down. Whichever is not, just make it. 5 fours are 20. Similarly, 3 fours are 4 to 8, 4 to 3 is 12. So it would give you 12 over 20. That's how you have to do all the other parts. This was your first answer, A part. 3 3 is a 9 because numerator is 9 and denominator would be 15. 5 3 is a 15. Similarly, this was your answer. C part, 5 6 is 30, gives you how much? 18. Denominator goes to 30 part as it was stated above in the question. Now we have to find denominator 3 9 is a 27 and 5 9 is a 45. 45. So this is your answer. 27 or 45. Fifth question, find the equivalent fraction of 36 over 48 with. Again, the same concept. Write down whatever you're given with and find the rest of the part. You have to find denominator part here. So, 9 fours are 36. How much four would give you 48? Well, when you multiply it by 12, 12 fours are 48 is your answer. 9 over 12. Here, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, that is 12. 12 4s are 48, and divide by 12, 12 1s are 12, 12 2s are 24, 12 3s are 36. That gives you 3 over 4. So this is how you have to do these types of questions. This is your answer. Now, sixth part, check whether, check whether the given fractions are equivalent. You have to check it. That is pair. A part, you have to check. So 30 over 54, we have to reduce it because 5 by 9 is not reducible. Therefore, we are not taking it. Similarly, 12 by 50 and not 3 by 10. Here, both the things are not reducible. Therefore, we write all of them and you can see they are not equal. So let's do first part. So 15 to the 30 and how much are? We are just dividing it by 2. 2 to the 4, 2 7 to 14. That is 15 over 27. Is it reducible? Reducible? Yeah, it is. So 5 over 9 is your answer. So it is correct. You have to match it. Now 12 over 50, of course, divided by 2. 2, 6 is 12. And 25, 2 is 50. So 6 over 25, not further reducible, not equivalent. So it is false. C part, not equal to. That is, it's clearly seen. So this is your answer for the sixth question. Now moving to seventh question. Reduce the following fractions to simplest form. Just divide it to make it to the simplest form by the common factors. 24 twos are 48 and 30 twos are 60. Divided by 2 again, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 15 twos are 30, that is simplest. So 3, it would, go over, it would go by 3. So if you have to check whether it goes from 3, simply add the digits, both the digits, like 1 plus 2 gives you 3. So it is divided by 3, similarly 15. So here 0, 0 goes cancels, that is easily divisible. So 5 is a 15, 3 to the 6, so 5 over 2. What about C part? If it's 12 by 2, because last digit is even. So 42 twos are, and what about this? 49, yeah. No, yeah, it can be. 6, 7s are 42, and 7, 7s are 49. So 6 over 7. Just learn your tables. Now to do it fast. 6 to the 12 and 2 to the 4 to 1 to 6 to 12. You can also divide it in your mind. So 3 over 13. These are not that much tough questions. You just have to remember multiplication. 7 4 to 28. That was the easy one. 1 over 4. So this makes your 7th question. That is your answer. Now some elaborated. Ramesh had 20 pencils. Shilu had 50 pencils and Jamal had 80 pencils. After 4 months, Ramesh used up 10 pencils, Shilu used up 25 pencils and Jamal used up 40 pencils. So, we have two parts. What fraction did each use up? And check if each has used up an equal fraction of his or her pencils. So, this is our question. We have two parts. One stated in red, another stated in green sorry, blue. So Ramesh used 10 pencils. We have just written all the given parts. Use 25 pencils and they had these number of pencils. 
So fractions used by them is 10 over 20 because we are just in the numerator part goes about they used and denominator they totally had. So as you can see all are just giving to simplest form half. So therefore first answer is correct. Fraction did use up. We have calculated all the fractions they have used up now. Let's check the second part whether they are equal. Yes, as you can see, all the fractions are reducible to 1 over 2. Therefore, yes, each used equal fractions. So this is how we have to do it. This is your answer. Now, ninth question. Match the equivalent fraction and write two more for each. All right. I've just truncated all the zeros because these are easily detachable. Right. So 24 over 40. Let's reduce it. 5 5 is a 25, 8 5 is a 40. Therefore, 5 over 8. This is your answer for the first question. Second is 18 over 20 divided by 2. 9 is a 18, 10 to the 20. 9 over 10. Now you have to match these all answers with the given sections in alphabets. 6 over 9 and 2 3 is a 6, 3 3 is a 9. So 2 over 3. 18 to the 36. It is as simple as that. Half. All right. Now 22 over 55, 11. 2 and 5, 2 or 5. Now let's just match them all. So here we'll use the lines to match them. First goes with, as you can see, it goes with D, 5 over 8. Next is 9 over 10. Match it with 9 over 10. That goes for E. Third is 2 over 3, the A part. Then the second last one is half. That is C part. And the last is 2 over 5. That is B part. Now, the another part of the question is write two more fractions. Well, we can write it by multiplying with the common factor. So, multiplying each one with the common factor. Let's, let's do first part. That is, we are multiplying all the things by two in numerator as well as in denominator. Now, simple, just we have to multiply them. As you can see, 5 to the 10 and 8 to the 16. And similarly, the second, as we were said to make you were asked to make two more, therefore, I'm just multiplying it with 3. So as you can see in the last part, we have 2 into 3 is 6 and 5 into 3 because we are multiplying both of them, numerator and denominator. So 6 by 15. So this is how you have to do that and this is your answer.